if you want to learn how to make this Lilo and Angel centerpiece, then stay tuned. First thing you want to do is cut is cut out your images, print and cut out your images. So normally I get these printed on adhesive paper and I can just peel off the back and put them on foam and use my foam cutter. But when I sent these to, um, to be printed, they printed them on the wrong type of paper. So, um, so I'm gonna have to cut these out by hand, but I'll show you, um, I'll show you why um, the way I'm making them today actually kind of fits the theme a little better. So let's start cutting. Okay, so next we're going to take our character and line it up on the um, palm leaf that we have. Um, so I'll link all both types of leaves in the description, but um, I'm just trying to keep his, his bottom um, where the bottom of the leaf starts. So let's kind of eyeball it. Like I'm going to notate, okay, his ears, majority of his head, you know, because you don't want to get hot glue on your table. Um, and you just want to put a generous amount on the areas that, that are going to stick to the leaf. Uh, you want to turn it over. And then I just take like any kind of dowel or something round and just roll that on there to make sure it's flat. You know, there's no bubbles. Um, so you're going to have to do this on a hard surface. This is going to be on the back facing out to the guest. So I want to basically make it a two, a two sided um, centerpiece. So I'm going to follow this line, match up this line with this line. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this. This one line. And this main vein right here and again the hot goes hot so you'll feel it through but you just want to kind of press down since these leaves aren't flat um, it's just easier to just press down and maybe even let it sit under something heavy like scissors so I'll put my scissors on top of that while it dries and then we'll do the same thing for this guy So we're going to just put this on there. We don't need all this extra stuff on the side. And when you take these apart, it's kind of cool. It's just basically cement. <laughs> so you can actually make these your, on your own, um, which maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. So I'm using this teal, I believe. Um, I don't know the brand, but I'll link it. Um, we're stuffing this teal into gray. So we're stuffing our teal into gray for Lilo's 
centerpieces, and then for, I mean for stitches centerpieces, and then for Angel, we are stuffing the pink into the white. Okay, so you're going to, and then once you have your balloon stuffed, you just want to take a hand pump, make sure you're holding both necks, and do about three pumps. You have your six of each color this way. Twist twice. Come on. And then twist. Twist this inside. Okay, and now we're going to put all the pieces together. We're going to take our base. We're going to take our stick from our balloon stick. All we need to do is add some glue on the inside of this base. We're going to stick our stick in there. Okay, and if it's still a little wobbly, you just add more glue. Of course, this is the front, this is the back. It looks cute. Okay, and then there's a stem that's like made of wire. So once your base is dry, I'm just going to show you with this one. Once your base is dry, you want to fold this up because um, it's like three inches long. So you want to fold this up to about one inch, one and a half. And then what you're going to do is stick that inside like that. Okay, and so that'll be your that'll be your stand. So you're going to go a whole new piece of tissue paper. And you're actually going to cover this thing like this. Okay, now you can put a rubber band, something um, that's not gonna poke your balloon. Um, and then once you put, I don't have a rubber band, but once you put the rubber band on, you can just add your balloons like this. And rearrange them how you want. And then your Lilo or Stitch or Angel thing is going to be on top. So let me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look in the description for all the materials that I used, and I will see you in the next one. Stay crafty.